Hello and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 71. In this video I will be taking apart a three-way dimmer switch. It's actually the same type of dimmer switch that I installed in a previous video. I took this one out because I upgraded to LED lighting and this only handles incandescence. It would not dim the LEDs without some kind of a load on the circuit. So this has the screws for the load or line and then your carrier wires along with the ground screw. So let's take a look inside this thing. I did start to, but then I decided to bring the camera out and I ended up breaking a tab off. This looks like it shouldn't be too terribly tricky to pull apart. It also has captive screws for holding it in the box. So pretty much it says on off and then you have your dimmer. I'm going to get a couple tools out. I will be right back. For the most part I'm just going to use a pocket screwdriver. Well, something's happening. Looks like I've released this side. I'm just trying to pop these little tabs out. Maybe I'll just try to break it off. Before we go much further, we can kind of see the rocker switch mechanism. I'll try to get a close-up of that in a little bit. That white thing in the bottom with the spring is what gives it its click feel. I'm going to pause for a moment and get this the rest of the way apart. Okay, a little bit more prying and I did get it to release. This is the spring that I was referring to earlier that gives that click feel to the switch. Now we can see a closer look at the switch mechanism itself. So this is a switch that's going to be used in a circuit where you have two switches running the same light. Now, let's take this front metal cover off. One thing I want to point out before I pull this metal plate off, because this was installed in a two-gang box, I had to pull off a couple of tabs here. I'm not sure how visible this is. It's rated 600 watts max, 500 if you remove one side, and 400 if you remove both. What they're referring to are these tabs here. As you can see, they're missing on this side. And in order to get this to fit in a two-gang box, you have to take off the tabs on one side. So this is set up for 500 watts at this point. Here we can kind of see the triac. I'm going to get some cutters and cut these leads off. Alright, I got the cutters. Just cut these three leads off. Here's a closer look at the triac that they're using the whole front as a heat sink for. That's what creates heat on this thing, and what does all the magic.
let me see if I can get some more of this plastic off. Oh yeah, this just pops right off. Okay, here's the dimmer, and it just has a little sweeper on it. And there's our toggle for the switch. The switch itself has those two points, those two triangles, here and here, and they fit through these slots on the board. And that pushes these two terminals. Now the dimmer portion rides on these two tracks, or traces. Now this thing looks like a big inductor of sorts. So this is pretty straightforward. We've got three 100 nanode capacitors. There's an inductor. Here's the triac. There is a resistor here. And I believe there's a diode down here. I'm going to double check. I'll be right back. So yeah, that is a diode. And the resistor up here is a 5.6 kilo ohm resistor. Also, the labeling on the board is very hard to read. You can't really see it. Maybe you can. So anyway, that's what's inside an incandescent dimmer switch. Check out John Ward's channel if you want to see the waveform of a dimmer switch. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.